This is how people will know that I'm living inside of you. This is how they'll be attracted to me through you when you show this kind of supernatural love. So looking back, I just see God's purpose in it. I see God's purpose in allowing it to happen just like God allowed um, the Pharisees to speak false accusations about Jesus and even many people believing them. Just like God allowed the false accusation to be believed about Joseph and him even being thrown to prison. God allowed that for purposes. And I see how God allowed what I went through this past year. I see how he allowed that. He wanted it to happen for a purpose. And so that was one of the purposes to, to be like a, a, a teaching moment that can teach something that a sermon just can't. And number two, to refine me more, to make me more humble. To I've never gone through that experience before where um, like, a test of do you care what people think about you I've never gone through that before like I did this year and so as I went through that now it's just made me stronger my heart stronger of humility and not caring what people think and only caring what God thinks and so in the middle of it when it's happening when stuff like this happens when attacks like this happen in the middle of it we so often are like, where are you, God? How could you allow this to happen? I can't believe this. We feel that way. And I want to tell you today, understand that God is not sleeping, that God knows what he's doing. And when you are surrendered to God, when you're innocent, when you're pure, God isn't allowing <coughs> this to happen to punish you. God is allowing this to happen just as he allowed it to happen to Joseph because this was needed to prepare his heart, to refine his heart more for the calling that God had for him. It was necessary. You can't skip it. It has to happen. So this is a blessing. Looking back, I just see God not concerned and just like, here we go. This is this is time to refine you more, my daughter, to strengthen your faith more, to make your faith, your trust in me to be even stronger. And just even the excitement of God for what he has for me next in life, the next step, the next place he can lift me to for passing this next step and refining my heart, you know? God's not concerned. When we're reading the Bible, we're not reading the Bible worried like Joseph's in the pit. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. In that moment, God's not concerned. He's allowing this to happen for a reason. So I just, for me, I just see how like the next thing that happens, I just see myself just sleeping in the boat like Jesus more, you know, we need to learn to keep our eyes on Jesus, remain in perfect peace in the storm and realize the storm is not scary at all. Just sleep and rest in the boat. Keep your eyes on Jesus <laughs> because the devil cannot stop what God has planned for your life. He cannot. And if you are someone who's surrendered, if you have, you know, you, you're keeping doors, you're doing your best to keep doors shut to the devil and obey God, it's important that you have this um, confidence, this confidence that God is with you and that- You're such a terrible person. Oh, great. <laughs> Very funny. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>